good morning children so today in this session we are going to start a new lesson lesson number 9 a dog from nowhere so let's get started so before starting here we are having some idioms and it is totally based on the dogs as you can see here let's share our ideas read these idiomatic expressions then fill in the blanks with suitable ones but before filling the blanks we must know what is the meaning of this idioms related with dogs so let's see first in the dog house it means in a situation in which someone is angry at you for something you did or did not do second one every dog has its day this is said to emphasize that everyone is successful or happy at some time in their life third one a dog's chance means to have a very slim chance very little chance that means now fourth one a dog's life means a very unhappy and unpleasant life now the last one a dog in the manger means someone who keeps something that they do not want in order to prevent someone else from getting it so let's see actually where it fits well ajit stops other people from enjoying what he cannot use he has dash policy what type of policy that means i think a dog in the manger that means someone who keeps something that they do not want in order to prevent someone else from getting it so a dog in the manger now second one that poor woman leads dash she works from morning to evening and doesn't have any time for recreation means what kind of life she lives so that is means a dog's life a very unhappy and unpleasant life yes now third one amit hasn't studied at all he hasn't dash of passing the examination that means didn't study means will have a very little chance a very slim chance that means a dog's chance okay now the fourth one lata's life is hard but at some point in her life she will achieve success because of dash okay so it's hard okay and uh but at some point in her life that means she will achieve success so that means we can say every dog has its day it is said to emphasize that everyone is successful or happy at some time in her life okay so that means every dog has its day and the last one you know very well actually what it is so if you are in the dog house okay so it means somebody is annoyed with you because of what you have done okay now let's start the lesson after living in the city for 35 years mr jones settles down in the countryside he loves life there the only thing he craves for is a dog one day a handsome fox terrier comes to his farm will the owner of the dog come and claim him so this gives idea actually of the lesson okay so before going to start actually we are having some meanings and these meanings actually students please write down in your copy so first one is fox terrier fox terrier is what it's a type of dog a small dog with smooth or rough fur that is white with black or pale brown marks but here actually the dog is not 
having the black mark something like that okay as you can see in the picture so it's uh, brown marks okay smooth and rough fur it's having and uh, golden something okay so it is given here actually we will see it then craved for craved for means what to have a very strong feeling of wanting something as mr jones were having uh, or craved for a dog okay now let's see what is there so goldie was a honey colored fox terrier with a bushy tail with lots of hair actually bushy tail so he was intelligent curious and bubbling over with energy a lot of energy actually he was having so he came from nowhere and attached himself to mr jones nowhere that means nobody knows actually from where this fox terrier dog actually came okay and but the dog likes mr jones and he was attached himself to mr jones so this dog actually is being described how it was described that means honey colored fox terrier dog actually it was bushy tail intelligent curious bubbling over with energy that means lots of energy now the second passage for 35 years mr jones had worked in city office as a clerk for 35 years he had worked in the same office sat at the same one desk done the same thing day in and day out when he was 65 he retired and set out realizing his dream he moved from the city and bought a farm in the countryside there he and his wife grew vegetables and looked after their fruit trees and their garden mr jones went out for long walks like he used to as a boy the sight of a squirrel cracking a nut or the sound of a flock of birds taking off gave him intense joy intense means what extreme that means a lot of happiness he had everything he wanted but a dog he craved for a fox terrier but he couldn't afford to buy one and then one fine day goldie came from nowhere and became his best friend so what it states it states that for 35 years mr jones had worked in a city office as a clerk and that was such a boring job actually for him okay same office sitting on the same desk done the same thing okay all the day okay so when he was 65 he retired and he was having a dream okay from the city actually he went to the countryside there he bought a farm and uh, what they used to do he and his wife grew vegetables and they look after the fruit trees their garden okay and even actually he used to go out for walk as he was a boy actually he also do like that then what gives him intense joy that was when he see a squirrel cracking a nut and sound of flocks of birds all this gives him a lot of joy immense joy he feel very happy he was having everything but what he craved for that means having a strong feeling or desire to have a dog and that was also a fox terrier but one day how, what happened goldie that means this is the name of the fox terrier dog goldie as he gave the name actually also because he don't know actually what is the name of that fox terrier dog which he came from nowhere to him so he gave a name goldie okay and it became a best friend as he was craving for also now goldie belonged to someone else mr jones knew he should advertise but kept putting it off he knew very well that actually this fox terrier dog that is goldie which he gave the name and he knew very well actually that that doesn't belong to him and even he can he can advertise so that who whosoever is the owner of that dog could collect him from him but he putting it off why putting it off that means 
he was not advertising it he didn't give the advertisement of this dog because it was his dream and even actually he wanted to stay with him that fox terrier dog to which actually he called goldie to which he named goldie it's been 3 weeks so how many weeks 3 weeks till 3 weeks actually he was having or he spent the time actually with that dog since goldie came to us mrs jones said to her husband have you made an effort to find the owner so this was mrs jones asking to mr june that why you didn't give that advertisement why you didn't make an effort to find out the owner and the master of this fox terrier dog now let's see the question where did mr jones work for 35 years so he worked in the city office as a clerk you know was this work interesting or boring it's boring same thing same desk actually was sitting in okay now what is the second question what was mr jones dream from the city actually he went to the countryside there he bought a farm grew vegetables okay right so when did he realize it he realized it actually when he was retired what did mr jones and his wife do on the farm they grew vegetables right then what gave mr jones great joy so that was the sight of a squirrel you know cracking a nut and even the sound of the flock of the birds that gave mr jones immense joy okay now fifth question what did mr jones long for he longed for or he craved for a fox terrier dog huh? now in the next slide mr jones felt a little guilty and ashamed why mrs jones asked whether he made an effort to find out the owner of the dog so he felt actually almost 3 weeks passed but he didn't make an effort to find out who is the owner of the dog and even he didn't give the advertisement in the newspaper so next day an ad appeared in the lost and found column of the local paper that means as he felt ashamed and he also find that actually he is guilty so that's why at last he gave an advertisement a week passed and nobody came to claim the dog so that was almost four week actually this dog fox terrier dog actually it was with mr jones nobody came to claim then a car appearing an out of state license stopped in front of their farmhouse mr jones was making apple juice and his wife was returning from the orchard with a basket of purple plums plums the stranger strode towards them they noticed that he was tall a boyish green lit up his features and that one coat sleeve hung limp by his side so what are the meanings here this also orchard an area of land where fruit trees are grown strode that is a long step when walking or running relish that means to like or enjoy something so a car that means it was out of that country side stopped in front of the mr jones farmhouse okay and at that time mr jones was making an apple juice and mrs jones actually was having a purple plums in her basket she returned from the orchard and that stranger having a long step okay so walked towards them so that was a tall and a boyish grin that means so having a smiling face okay and uh, he was having a one coat sleeve hung limp by his side 
that means he was not having one hand there i hope you will forgive my coming un unannounced he said i am come to you about and he stopped and whistled oh that's fresh apple juice it smells delicious so before he could say anything so he was fascinated by the smell of that apple and he liked to have okay so mr jones offered him a glass he liked it so much that he had three more glasses of the juice so he didn't say what he up to there why he arrived there but he liked that smell and even that apples were fresh he liked the juice and not only one glass actually he after that he liked so much that he thought three more glasses he enjoyed that as it was afternoon mrs jones brought home made food for all of them the stranger ate it with great relish that means he enjoyed a lot after having lunch he stood up and patted his stomach if i stayed with you long i would have a big tummy he said so that means that uh, man that boy okay uh he was very much moved by the hospitality of mr jones family mr jones and mrs jones okay so he really loved it he enjoyed it the meal even the juice so let's see the question after how many days did mr jones put the advertisement in the newspaper three weeks you know after three weeks then why do you think he kept putting off placing the advertisement in the paper why did he put off that means why he didn't give the advertisement because that was his dream you know fox terrier he want to have a time long time with the dog so it might be actually because of this he didn't give the advertisement okay the next why did one coat sleeve of the stranger hang limply by his side okay so because he was not having that hand understood so now mr jones looked up at him and asked what's your height 62 i am an infantry man what do you mean by infantry so here are some more, more words infantry means a soldier who fights on foot then what do you mean by baffled to cause someone to be completely unable to understand or explain something okay so here mr jones asked actually what is the height of that man so it was 62 that means he was tall infantry man and he was soldier and might be actually in the war he lost his hand our son was six who said this mr jones he was on the ship that sank he was on the ship and it sank that means mr jones lost his son i'm sure he left you proud memories the stranger said softly now i will explain why i have come it's about the dog the dog you advertised so that means that man the tall man has come for the dog. Oh, said Mr. Jones, the dog. About four weeks ago, resumed the man. I had a flat tire driving through this part of the countryside. I went to call a mechanic, leaving my dog behind in the car. When I got back, the dog was missing. I looked for him, but... So that was this man that infantryman four weeks before he was here okay so his car's tire was flat and he was he went to see the mechanic 
But when he came back, actually, he didn't find his dog there. What breed was your dog? Asked Mr. Jones in a leaden voice. Why did my leaden voice? It is given in the box, as you can see, page number 117, at the right corner, left down, right down. Okay, so dull and heavy with sadness. Why we say actually leaden heart, leaden voice? Because that was his dream, you know, Mr. Jones' dream actually it was to have a fox terrier dog. And he enjoyed a lot of time actually with this dog. That's why he didn't give the advertisement, you know, for three weeks. So he was feeling so sad. Who? Mr. Jones. A big honey colored fox terrier. I would know him instantly and so would he. It was then that hope died in Mr. Jones' heart. He's your dog. I am sure I am very curious to know his name. That means when this stranger man said that actually it was honey color, that means Mr. Jones knew very well actually this man is talking about Goldie only. And this man would take this dog. Okay, so he was feeling sad. His hope died. He thought actually... He will describe in some other way, but that was honey colored. Yes, that's what's correct. He's your dog, I am sure, Mr. Jones said. I am very curious to know his name. Mr. Jones wanted to know his name. It's bad luck to change a dog's name because he gave that dog's name Goldie. Because it's honey colored, you know, it's looked like something gold. So please call him by his name and let him recognize you. So he thought actually that this stranger man would call him by name and that dog will recognize him. So he went with the neighbor's boy and any minute now he will be coming back. Here he comes, said Mr. Jones. I bet he will be glad to see you. The dog started quickly towards the dog, tall man, then stopped and looked at Mr. Jones. Standing between the two, he looked from one to the other. A baffled expression on his face. As I told you, what is the meaning of baffled? To cause someone to be completely unable to understand or explain something. That means that fox terrier dog actually he was baffled. He was completely unable to understand. Because he was having two honors. The previous and the later on. You know. Then he strode towards Mr. Jones and licked his hand. Okay, but he walked towards Mr. Jones and he licked. That means as if actually the dog wanted to go with Mr. Jones, not with the honor, the real honor. Now, how had the stranger lost his dog? So three weeks or four weeks before the stranger man, okay, so he passed by that countryside and his car's uh, wheel actually it uh, flat and he looked for the mechanic he went for looking for the mechanic but when he returned actually he didn't find his dog whom did the dog acknowledge as his master mr jones because he licked the hand of mr jones he was confused he was baffled you know yes now after an awkward silence the stranger said there is a resemblance a remarkable resemblance but dogs often look alike the name will tell here chief he called softly what do you mean by awkward that means difficult to use do or deal with something a strange situation you know why because he thought that fox trader dog actually he will recognize the honor that means as that stranger is the real honor of that dog but that dog went to the uh, went to Mr. Jones, licked the hand. So that was an awkward silence. The stranger said. So that means might be actually this having the resemblance. That means it look like my dog, because having the same resemblance that means uh, same thing, same qualities, same characteristics. 
okay so sometimes in the fact that two people or things look alike they are looking alike okay or each other or are similar in some other way so that is resemblance okay so he thought actually that might be actually he will recognize by the name hey chief he called softly so he said the name of that dog chief the dog only response was to whimper and press his face against mr jones outstretched hand that means this dog was only responding to mr jones that means he was not having any effect of the name as the stranger called chief so he didn't recognize that not my dog said the tall man he thanked mr and mrs jones for their hospitality and left in a hurry so what do you mean by hospitality the act of being friendly and welcoming to guests and visitors yes the tall man enjoyed juice meal okay so he thanked the tall man thanked mr jones and mrs jones for the hospitality and he went in a hurry why in a hurry okay so might be to something that is okay fine young fellow said mr jones wonder why he was in such a hurry so he thought actually why he was going in such a hurry might be the dog could recognize actually that okay later on might be that dog could uh, remember recognize that this is my real owner a week passed by and no claimants claimants appeared claimant means what a person who asks for something that they believe belongs to them or that they have a right to so nobody claimed for that dog then why might be to this the tall man was only the real owner of that dog the problem now is to find his real name that means nobody came to claim nobody arrived so mr jones told his wife the same day a telegram arrived it was from a distant city and was un- unsigned it said try happy what do you mean by this try happy now i tell you children so that tall man that infantry man was only the owner of the dog okay right so but the dog didn't recognize him and even actually because this so jones was not having his son because he lost his son and even they were very old age so he was very much attached with that fox terrier dog and even that uh, mr jones wanted to know his name so that tall man actually gave the reply by a letter because he didn't said the name actually the real name and that real name of that dog that fox terrier fox terrier dog was happy but he said chief why because even actually he doesn't want that mr jun and that dog was be separated okay so in this way that man wanted to have this mr jones that fox terrier dog okay so in this way actually that would be a complete family right so why did the tall man leave in a hurry because so might be actually he doesn't want to stay for a long time with the dog might be actually he could change his mind or might be actually he thought that uh, this uh, if 
he will stay with the dog for a long time the dog could recognize him then who sent the telegram yes that tall man uh, if the dog's name was happy why do you think the tall man called chief because uh, as i told you already that uh, this mr jones lost his son and they were very of old age and even mr jones wanted a dog he longed for dream for a fox terrier dog and he was very much happy with that dog okay so might be this is the reason and even this owner wanted doesn't want uh this dog to be separated by mr jones as dog shown that what attachment actually he was having mr with mr jones okay so because when he was there but dog uh, do, this dog actually sorry this dog didn't recognize him and he licked the hand of the uh, mr jones okay so might be these are the reason right okay thank you and have a good